Hey everyone, this is Rachel from Autodrill. She's a part of the sales team here, and she's going to talk to you about this stuff. All right, this stuff that he's talking about is collets, collet chucks, collet nuts, and pretty much everything in between. So let's take a look here. We've got our ER8 size collet and collet nut on this piece of equipment. So basically it twists on and off. The collet goes and locks inside of that collet nut, okay? So this is a mini style. And once you hand tighten it, you can use the collet wrench and it fits nicely on there and you can tighten it and loosen it when you need to change out your tooling. The next size that we have is an ER11. This is a hex style. Okay, so it's the same concept. I don't have a collet in here, but the collet nut twists and threads directly onto the spindle for our 1000 series auto drill. This is a hex style that is up to a seven millimeter tool shank. The next thing that I have here is a bit of a size jump. So this is an ER32. In between these two sizes, we have ER16, ER20, and ER25. The ER32 is up to a 20 millimeter tool shank capacity. Okay, so what you do is you twist off this collet nut, okay? And you can see there's a groove on the inside, just on the lip. And you take one of your collets, and the collet also has a groove. You clip that directly into your collet nut, and it locks into place. And once it locks into place, you can thread it back onto your collet chuck. And once again, it's the same concept. Once it's hand tight, you can use your collet wrench right there to tighten it and loosen it. So there's a little bit of information about our collets, our collet chucks, and our collet nuts here at Auto Drill.